What's up YouTube? Jeff back again from DopeDeckDaily.com and there's nothing quite like the smell of a fresh Android Pie build for the Galaxy Note 9 in the morning and today that's exactly what I have for you guys. A quick look at the newest build that just came out today for the Android Pie Samsung One UI experience on the Galaxy Note 9. Now let me go ahead and just show you guys here what I am running. You'll see this is the very first One UI build 1.0 for the Galaxy Note 9. I already reviewed the official build for the Galaxy S9. I'll drop a link to the video below if you want to check it out. I've also done a ton of videos on this uh, Android Pie build for the Note 9 and S9. Uh, here you can see the ending uh, baseband version CRKE. If you want to get this, again, I'll drop the instructions below. Uh, you can use Odin and also use Samsung Firmware Science to grab these. You can see this is a very, very, very recent build. November 20th on the kernel version, so very new indeed. So I'm just going to go over the few changes and new things that I've noticed, comment on some things that people are interested in. Uh, if you want to see the full review of the overall operating system on Android Pie, you can check out my previous videos. Now one thing I've noticed in the new build that I didn't notice in the last one, because I don't really use Samsung Internet all that often, is that Samsung Internet has actually been redesigned, but you can go home. Uh, you also have this little bar over here which can turn off night mode if you want to turn off night mode in the browser. It comes on by default when you have night mode on in the display settings, which I do right now. You can also share from within here, do a whole bunch of cool stuff, desktop version, content blockers. To be honest with you, I'm probably going to switch to Samsung Internet because I really like this new feature having the gesture bar along the bottom. Makes it a lot more convenient to use in my opinion might bring me over from Chrome and have me switch to this. Um, also with the night mode automatically taking effect whenever you turn it on in display settings, I think that's a huge win. This was something that's also in the Galaxy S9 build, uh, just something that I didn't notice because I don't use the browser very much. The next thing I want to mention are themes because a lot of people have asked me about theme support. Uh, in this build you actually can enable themes and certain parts of the UI actually do get themed. So if I change this gold theme which I had from a previous video a long time ago and I go ahead and apply it, it will actually apply it to the quick settings and a few other places, but it looks really spotty throughout the interface in general. And you can also notice it does take some time for it to actually go through and apply. Now it's applied 100%. Uh, we can go back and check out what the theme looks like, of course. It will theme your icons right there, which you can see the custom wallpaper. And if you go up to the quick settings, you'll see you do get the gold, but you still have the blue circles on the inside here, which I think looks really weird. Uh, also, if you go into the main settings, you'll notice it's kind of a disaster. You've got all this white on gold. Obviously, that's not really a good look. So the settings are going to have to be revamped so that they actually work with Android Pie. But you can apply them now, so they're there. Um, uh, one thing that's important, of course, as you might imagine, is that you cannot use night mode whenever you have a theme applied. It actually tells you right there, night mode can't be used while applying a theme. Uh, so obviously, even though they don't work fully, you can at least now apply some themes. They're just not fully compatible, which you would probably expect um, at the end of the day. Another thing that a lot of people were interested in is if you choose a free theme, you've now got the try for 14 days little button at the bottom. Quite a few people mentioned this uh, in Android Pie. Samsung is now going to allow you to try free themes for only 14 days. So if you hit the try for 14 days, it'll tell you, do you want to apply the theme? Some things might be incompatible, etc. But after 14 days, it isn't really clear what's going to happen. Do you have to purchase it or do you have to try a new one? I'm actually going to try applying one of these and seeing what happens. Samsung hasn't been fully clear on what happens after the 14 day period. So I'll look into that and we'll see what happens at the end of those 14 days on my Galaxy Note 9. A couple other quick things. Uh, if you notice the battery icon at the very top, it's a lot shorter and stubbier than it was on Oreo. That's a little thing that Max Weinbach pointed out over on Twitter and I wanted to mention that because he's right, it is shorter. It's not nearly as tall as it was in the previous build. And then another question that people keep asking me all the time, can you use Action Launcher or another third party launcher uh, with the Samsung One UI gestures. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and change my default launcher to Action Launcher and I'll show you how it works. So right here, change it to Action Launcher. So you'll notice when you go home, it does apply it. So I've got Action Launcher on here. You can see you've got the Google search bar at the bottom. So if I swipe up, I can get into my app drawer. It's automatically themed. But notice when I use the gesture that swipes up in the middle to go home, it takes me into my app carousel with the recently used apps at the bottom. So you cannot actually swipe to go home if you're using a third-party launcher. You need to use the hard press, the home button. So you can use that. Or 
when you're in the middle of the frequently used apps, you can go ahead and tap on Action Launcher and that'll take you back to the home screen. So technically the gestures do work. Um, you can use the swipe up from the right side to go back. You can use the swipe up from the left to go get the recent carousel, but you can't actually swipe up from the middle to go home, no matter what app you're in. If you're in any app, you can always hard press the home button to actually go directly home if you're using a third party launcher. So that might have to be something that they change up a little bit. Uh, if you want to use a third party launcher with Android Pie, it might not be quite the time to do that um, because of this little issue. But if you're okay with hard pressing the home button, you can certainly do that and there's no issue at all. Anyway guys, that's my look at the CRK e-build of Android Pie, Samsung One UI, the first official Samsung One UI build for the Note 9. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. If you guys have other questions or you want to install it, check the links below. I'll be happy to answer questions in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.